Okay, elementaries. We're looking at numbers today. We did the numbers 1 to 20. Uh, you know most of these. This is really, really good. Remember 3. Remember 8. That's a difficult spelling. But all the others are quite good. Remember 5. When we get down here, it changes to 15. This is quite important. And 20 is spelled like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Then I asked you to see if you could learn these ones here. So, 30, 31, 40, 42, 50, 53, 60, 64, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now there are some very interesting things here. When you look at the, the ones in the 30 group, you can see that it's very, very similar to the spelling of 13. It's like you take 13 and you take the E away and you just put the letter Y. The problem is with the number 40, these are different. 4 and 14 are spelt with F-O-U-R, whereas 40 is just F-O-R, so be careful of that one. But then all the others, these numbers can help you. 15, 50, look at, this diff look at this, how the, the spelling is similar here. F-I-F-T-Y, F-I-F-T-Y, and then of course just a, one of these other numbers. 15, 50. 16, 60, 17, 70, 18, 80, 19, 90. So just try to remember that these are the first letters of these bigger numbers here, the ones ending in zero. And all you have to do is take away the E and replace it with the letter Y. Then we looked at these ones. Now, I didn't do all of them because from 5th to 20th, they are all the same. These numbers, by the way, on the left here, they're called cardinal numbers. But these ones are called ordinal numbers. They are the order of things. Did you come first in the, in the quiz? Did you come second? This is about order. Have a look at the spelling. When we, when, now, we use these a lot with... Um, our date of birth, or dates in general. Have a look. First, second, third, remember that, fourth, and fifth. So there are some similarities here between some of these numbers here, like fifth, you just have to take away the E and, and put TH. Um, some of these are different and we need to learn them. Now the interesting thing here is after the number, the fifth number, all the others, all the way down to 20th, are the same. First, second, third and fourth, and then fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. It's just like doing, um, adding TH at the end of all of these. 10th, 13th, 14th, 15th. You just add TH all the way down to 20th. But as soon as we get past the number 20, we need something slightly different. So take 30 for example, when we want to say 31, but in this way, we need to say 31st, 30, 30, ah, no, sorry. so just like 20th, when we change the spelling to 30th, we need to take away the Y, so it, it would look like this, 30th. We need to remember that I. Because it's a consonant and why we change it, and I'll be coming onto those rules for other things like verbs and nouns and adjectives and stuff like that later. As soon as we get past 20, 20th, we have to say 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. 31st, 31st, 32nd. 40th, spelt just like the other one, with an I, E-T-H, and then 42nd, 
So 40 second, like this. And then 50. 50th with the I E T H. Sorry about my terrible writing. 53rd, 60th, 64th, 70th. Remember, you take away the Y and add I E T H. Now, this is all very new for us, so we're going to do some work with dates later to try to put this into our heads. But it's about some of this spelling that's really important when things change from 20 to 20th. 30 to 30th. And then we just use these numbers 31st, 42nd, 33rd, 44th, 55th, 66th. It's good to play around with the spelling of these. Okay, so this is new learning for us all about numbers. Thank you.